In this brief lesson, we're going to talk about yet another Python data structure, the dictionary. A dictionary is exactly what you think of. It's a way to look up a value based on a key, just like Webster's Dictionary or any other dictionary. We're going to use the interactive shell again to demonstrate how dictionaries are created. So let's open the shell, first of all. This first example will demonstrate how to create an empty dictionary. And we do that by writing a open curly brace followed by a closing curly brace. That creates an empty dictionary. But of course, that's not of much use. So let's see how to create a dictionary that actually has data in it. What we're going to do is we're going to create a little simple phone extension list. We'll call it phone list. And it's going to have an employee's name followed by their extension. So we open the dictionary with an open curly brace. We type the first key followed by a colon and then a value and then a comma. Then another key, colon, another value. And we'll do one more key and one more value like so. And that's all there is to it. If I want to retrieve a value, I just write a key as an index. So if I type phone list Jane, it returns 233. And that's as simple as a Python dictionary is. One thing I will show you before we leave this subject is you can get a list of all the keys and all the values of a dictionary by using the keys function, which returns the keys, and the values function, which returns all the values. There's a lot more we can talk about with dictionaries, but we'll save that for later in the course when we've learned a little bit more about Python programming constructs. So we'll leave dictionaries for now and we'll move to the last data structure for the chapter, and that's the tuple.